Hi guys, so today we are going to be doing my makeup for when I am pale. It doesn't happen often, especially right now in the warmer months. I like to be tan, but I did want to do a pale makeup routine. Still glowy, still a little bit bronzy, but it's simple, it's quick when I'm not talking, and it looks genuinely good on everybody. <laughs> um, this is just to show people um, who are like, why don't you wear your fair skin? Do you not like your fair skin? I love my fair skin. I just like to be tan right now. Um, more towards the colder months, you will not see fake tan on me. That's okay. I know in different cultures that pale skin is beautiful. It's considered beautiful. And I know in some cultures, bronze skin is beautiful. All skin types are beautiful. I'm lucky enough to fake a tan when I want. And I'm lucky enough to have pale skin whenever I want. So... I know a lot of people don't get these options. I am grateful to have these options, but I just wanted you to see a makeup routine when I decide to be pale. If you're new here, hi, my name is Alexa. I post every Tuesday and occasionally on Sundays. I believe that is now gonna be my new posting schedule while I'm in quarantine, because I keep filming <laughs> and not enough days to post. If you'd like to join us, please just make sure to subscribe, but let's start on with this video and hopefully you subscribe. Let's go into the video. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, I still have some fake tan on. I tried my best last night to get it off as much as I can, but I still have some remnants of it. So sorry, but this is as best as we're gonna get because I have to tan tomorrow anyways for a review. So this is as fair as you're gonna see me right now. <laughs> I already have me eyebrows on, so we're gonna get into face. I already primed because I was watching a live with Zoe and Mark so it was just nice just to do that and so I was like subconsciously getting myself ready and I was like oh wait I have to film stop stop so this is as far as I got before I noticed but I put on my eyebrows while watching them because you already saw my eyebrows when I uh, did my last like everyday makeup when I was tan so I just don't really change just the shades. Back in with the Buildable Blur by Thrive. This is amazing. It's the shade Fair Light. In a cosmetics, I'm in the shade Fair when I'm this pale. Um, which hasn't been happening often just because it's been so nice and lovely outside. And I don't like to go outside when I don't have fake tan on. When it's super nice because I get burnt. When I at least have a fake tan, I have that and a bunch of SPF. So I feel like... It, I don't get burned. It's subconscious. I know it's stupid. I know. Let me live my life. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go straight on in. By the way, I don't use primer. I use the Nebula Post Shave Balm as my primer, but I don't count that as primer because I feel like it doesn't do anything. I just feel like it's an unnecessary step. These birds are living right now in the moment. My sister got a birdhouse. Like, she just had to put it like right there it's beautiful because i could see like the birds and enjoying and thriving in nature asmr of birds so i'm just gonna pump it onto this brush i'm using the real techniques expert face brush i don't know why i had to look at it it's been on youtube for so many years i've had this since i was like fifth oh my god i've had this since i was six fifteen fifteen so this has been going seven years strong so this is a really good brush um i changed up my face brush brushes all the time because I hate cleaning them. I just do two pumps. We're gonna just two pumps on on the old brush and this is hard to pump back on. I have so much to do tomorrow. I have to film two videos tomorrow. I have to film two videos today just so I can get ahead. Um, I'm thinking of I don't know if I already have done this or if I haven't. Um, this is a little bit too light, but we'll work with it. I don't have all my fake tan off yet. I have so many videos to film today and tomorrow. I don't know if I already did this. This is because I pre-recorded so much videos right now during quarantine that The male ladies here, hold on. It was not for me. I'm appalled. I'm hurt. I'm wounded. My package did not come in today. 
to get mail, but it was from my pen pal. I can't look at myself right now. We'll add bronzer. It'll be fine. Um, I am going in with some Tarte Shape Tape. Light Zan. I think I'm going to change my uploading schedule to Sundays and Thursdays. And the days I tan, so it all works out, I guess. Um, but I don't know if I want to keep that schedule. I don't know if I already did that or if I haven't. I'm also, because this is a pre-filmed video as well, because I'm never pale right now at this moment. So when I am, I'm going to try to take advantage of it. And after this, I'm going to upload, edit and upload and put it on private. We got a lot of work to do, kids. Turn on the fan. It was so starting to get a little toasty. I was supposed to do this early in the morning, but since I was watching, so a mark it just it just <laughs> didn't happen go ahead and set my eyes um i set my eyes with some powder from covergirl i don't mix the uh, revolution powder in i just use this when i am the fairest of fair i need to warm up my complexion now because i like bronzer i've always liked bronzer nothing changes using a different bronzer i like cream bronzer it's my favorite when I'm tan I use powder but I'm looking just to use those up and then I'm gonna go switch over to cream because cream I love cream and those bronzers go orange on me when I am the fairest of fair it's expensive they changed the formula I guess I asked was for more shades they didn't <laughs> they didn't give me more shades they gave me a different formula why change something that was so good but Fenty Beauty just came out with some cream products and I am looking to buy after I use this because I have waist. I barely hit pan. This is the Chanel. I never said who it was. It's the Sol Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. They changed the name. They changed your formula. They changed the shade. So use at your own risk. And I'm just gonna bronze. I never contour. Everybody has those days. And I'm also keep looking at the viewfinder because I'm trying to see if I look okay. But I need to be paying attention to you because you're more important than me. Love you. I love bronzer though. Every time I see it, I'm like, yes, girl, there I am. I'm coming back to life. Even if I'm tan, I still like bronzer. Brush. This is from Illuminate Cosmetics. They don't make them anymore. That cosmetic company is no longer a thing. It was Ashley Tisdale's, which I loved. I love supporting her. I really liked her brushes, but they don't make them anymore. But I'm just setting. Also, this color, cute. The, my face was just whatever is left on the brush. I don't really. I'm a dewy girl. My mind is so all over the place. Yeah, I used the exact same colors that I did in my last one because blush is blush i don't use as much blush as i do when i'm tan we'll use a shimmery one today which is the middle one you can tell how far like advanced how far along i pre-film when you buy the tell of my nails yes the nail ugly nails are here they're hopefully not gonna stay here forever because i don't want them to I have a hair appointment next month so i'm really hoping quarantine is over because i'm trying I need to get my roots done. It was a smudge root, but I go every like six months, so I don't care the length. Yeah. Anyways, Luxedarian Wisp Color Pop. I love these highlighters. I can't wear them when I'm tan. I don't know why. I just never tried it, I guess. I have other highlighters that I like more um, for when I'm tan and more when I'm pale. As you can see, I pale, I, I pale majority of the time. Only time I'm tan is when I'm filming reviews, which right now there's nothing much to do. Like I don't need to be um, not tan. And I was, I used these enough to justify that I do indeed love my fair skin. These are just beautiful highlights for fair skin. I don't like them for tan skin. Just personal preferences, okay? Do you see that? Ooh, ooh it's so highlighted, it's so cute. <gasps> Forgot to go in I only can use this when I'm pale because I don't have any other shades but this is amazing this is the Charlotte Tilbury Fall Hollywood's flawless filter for the superstar youth glow I used it so much that the packaging came off you can I'm in the shade too light that's the shade I have 
I can't, I don't have a tan shade, but if I did, I would use this. This is so amazing. I don't use this often right now because we're in quarantine and I was going to use it today for a special occasion just because it's like, it's been a while. She misses me. I miss her. And I forgot about her. Using it under makeup, if you love a dewy finish, it transforms your foundation the best way. Even if it's super matte, you just put it on your cheekbones. It still shows a little bit of shimmer. It's dewy. It's great. I love dewy, whether I am tan or I am pale. I love the dew. Oh, do you now? Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> so good. This is also the only highlighters I get asked about whenever I wear them. Ready? We're gonna do other side. I don't know if I'm, I'm excited. I haven't used these in a while. <laughs> really wanna go extra dewy, which I do. I go ahead and put it on me forehead to give me some like glow. We're gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette. Mine looks gross. It, this is just, it's here. I use it every day when I do makeup. It's gross. I, my sister has one and I used to steal hers and then I got my own for Christmas. I'm using the shades Silk Cream, Pukey, and Pooter. So I'm just going like this. Changes every day, basically. But I still keep like the shades somewhat general like this. And I just put, pop it in the crease. I don't do anything too harsh just because since I am a little bit paler, um, the bronzier shades tend to go more smoky on me, which is fine, but that's not the effect I want in the daytime. I do on the top, I do on the bottom. So I'm going to do that on the bottom lashes as well. The bottom lash line as well that's it don't really like much eyes when i'm like this right now at the moment at the moment it can change but then i just do a middle inner corner so i either choose in light or beam i'm going to use beam because i usually use a light when i'm tan so we're just going to go show beam some love and i'm going to just pop it in my inner corners it just makes you look awake if you're fancy like me sometimes I still use the space cowboy whenever I'm wearing makeup and if this is not on my eyes are you am I okay I don't I don't think so so I just emphasize it the inner corner with some glitter cuz I got glitter in my veins before I apply mascara this is when I do a setting spray I love this setting spray this is the best setting spray in the whole entire world Catrice prime and fine dewy glow I have one more of these and it's just, I love it. So spray as much as you want. This is going to give you a really glowy finish. And if you don't like glowy finishes, don't buy this because you're going to be glowy. Do you see how glowy I am? I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara and I will be right back. I'm done with the eyes. Next, we are going to do the lips. I'm still using the exact same lip pencil right here where I don't have pigment. And then also my lip line starts again, so. Sometimes I have a line, I don't think I look good. Sorry, my family came in and I have to talk to them. But I used uh, that Spice lip pencil and I used Velvet Teddy from MAC for my lips. It is a bit darker than when I'm tan. Lipsticks look different on every skin tone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.